Hello, welcome to day four, aka day five. We started on day zero of this creating a modern OpenGL game engine. No live stream, it is just a regular video series vlog that is done in the format of a live stream and the perp and the reason for that is because my internet isn't the best. So yeah, let's get down to it. It's been a few days since I've done it. It's been busy with a few other things, mainly being it's working on the OpenGL tutorial, been planning them. One is actually being uploaded right now, the camera tutorial and taken some feedback from the community based on the vlog series and planning a little, a little bit more of just plan what we're going to do in this video which is probably just going to be covering creating a setting singleton class I think in the previous video there was a static class I don't know why I said that I meant singleton class and yeah so this is what we're going to do create a settings singleton class it's going to cover stuff like the window width height I don't know why I've got width twice so let me get rid of that the def biff stencil bits, anything else that's generic between the frameworks, major and minor version of OpenGL, so like 3.3, 3 would be, I mean, the, to the left of the decimal point would be the major, to the right would be, would be the minor, the, if it's resizable or not. Resizable window, window width. Why have I got it there again? I don't know why the hell I did twice duplicated okay anti alias in and um, full screen so we'll just save that so we've got a note of what we're doing there there's also window fixed window not closing as well has committed since you started editing Let's see if I can just can I yep okay yeah that that is fine so first of all, we want to create a singleton class and the format, the structure that we're going by is this right here. We've got pretty much everything bar this core settings file. So I'm going to create a core settings file within, yeah, I'm going to put it within the core folder. So new file. And we're going to grab a CPP file, so create a header. It's going to be called core settings. We're most likely going to need more settings later on for game specific stuff. But again, this is just a core one. Create. That is fantastic. A few things going to change. Just going to put this up here because I want the header first. For the HPP, I'm actually going to get rid of all of this and put hash pragma once. Save that. And in the CPP file, I'm happy with what's going on in here I can I can never quite remember how to code a singleton class I mean like the exact specifics obviously you create a static private instance you have a get instance method which is called every time you want to use it and if it's not being created and it creates it. if it has been created you, you just retrieve it hence there's only one single version so I'm going to google C++ singleton I know some people have commented that uh, I saw a need to learn C++ a little more you know, there's always room for improvement but in terms of the way I work I usually always google stuff a lot of the time just to make sure even the simple stuff again it's just, it's just the way I work so yeah this is what we want right here this is the one so I'm gonna rename that to core and to do the yeah I gotta put that in a namespace I don't have to but I really should so namespace and this was sonar game engine that's fine let me just fix this up you don't care about setting values at the mo at this particular moment in time I have no concern for that because I can deal with that stuff after set initial values and 
little bit. I prefer having the public method first, just the way I like having it. Love to hear your feedback on that, whether you have your private method first, the publicly protected, what sort of preference do you have? Be great to hear that sort of stuff. And feel free to contribute to the code, to the project, any way that you want to. It's free to use and it is on well on GitHub, so feel free to check that out. So I'm gonna put I need to put a namespace. Delete this comments so and namespace. I'm gonna try and get a lot more done in these videos. I do want to try and document as much as possible, but based on the feedback that I've got, I think the most part has been that more than valid feedback that a lot wasn't getting done, and I think that's fair enough. I I did oh shit. I did feel that way while I was doing the videos, but I just thought because I was dude, no, I don't need a main in here. Don't need these methods either. Setting the values, so let's just. Yep. Well, what I was talking, I was talking about getting things done. Yeah, I was feeling sort of the same that things weren't quite getting done as fast as they realistically could have done and should have been. I was trying to document as much as possible, but but the reality is there's documenting and then there's just sort of dragging your feet and I want to try and avoid that and so I, I thank everyone for their constructive criticism because at the end of the day though I'm enjoying this I want to get this you know going so I can actually start creating games with it whether they're serious games that I'm actually trying to release and sell or put on Steam or wherever or whether they're just good looking games for myself, either way, I want a decent engine that not only I can use, the community can use as well. So, 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 mm. I'm actually gonna take this out of here, put it in the CPP. I oh, hope everyone is having a good weekend. Sunday for me. But I. Mm, 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 then declare default constructor. Core settings. Yep, no, that is all good. Obviously, we set the initial values. Just run it, make sure it's all good. And we're using the SDL framework at the moment. So, yeah, that's good. That's good. We made good progress in the first eight minutes because, <laughs> it, it, honestly, there were some videos, some of the videos that we did in this series that almost like the entirety were, we were barely getting this far. So, we've got this overall done. Let's just handle one particular parameter at the moment let's handle the width and the height yeah the width and the height so the width and the height so what we want in the core settings header we want to create a yep a variable and this variable uh, um i want to put the constructor first because at the end of the day you would never call the constructor you would call it shouldn't be instance i want to call it get instance I've always preferred calling it that and having it declared in the constructor or implementing the constructor is fine because realistically it's not going to go beyond this you call settings I'm happy with all of that stuff so now I'm going to put game engine core game engine parameters Parameters, not parameters, because we're not passing something. It will be variable. Yeah, variables. Uh, properties. Prefer that word. The so properties. The width and the height. What sort of values have we been using before? What sort of like variables? Framework interface. What have these been? GL int. Okay, that's fine. In the core settings, I'm going to need to include what do I need to include to get that working? I need to include the glue. Oh, yeah, I remember in I think a couple of videos ago, I was talking about 
vectors that have XYZ and I think width and height properties. I know G OpenGL mathematics library, the GLM library, has vectors built in like vec2, vec3, vec4 that has XYZ, etc. They might even have width and height. If they do, that'll be fantastic and I'll replace the stuff that we've got at the moment with that. That will be fantastic. So let me just copy and paste this into here and then I'll actually where was this? Yeah, it was fine. Then I'll actually just make a note on that on the notes file because we might not get round to that today, tomorrow, or even the day after. So this is exactly what this file is for. Just to make some quick notes. So I was talking about what the hell was I talking about? Open no I'm asking about GLM vectors with width and height. Now I'm actually just gonna Google it. GLM width and height vector. Yo, if it does have a width and height vector that's gonna be fantastic. Mm. Let's have a look. So I know they got X, Y and Z because I've been using that in the Codecast, not the Codecast, the OpenGL tutorials. Vec2 yeah, they got a vec2 but I'm guessing that's gonna be dot x and dot y. I wanna be able to access here dot width and dot height. Probably a way they can just change it as well. Obviously I don't want to go into the GLM code. Don't want to be modifying literally any external libraries. It's never a good idea to modify external libraries. You should always try and leave them like they are, unless you absolutely have to. For something insignificant like this, you, you don't want to go in and start modifying them. I have in the past modified libraries before frameworks but that's because they've had faults in them and like the new version has them come out and just put a quick just rudimentary hotfix in there and waiting to, waited to the new version vector types uh, what we got right bottom I'm going to search for it with height Okay, yeah, I'll leave this for the the part where we actually use it, because otherwise, be here forever and won't get anywhere. So yeah, let's confirm it with this one. That it looks all good to me. This one got a destructor. Uh, got a single equals null. Ah, uh, they need to be statics, don't they? The parameters do. Ah, actually, I can't quite remember. Do the statics in a do variables in singleton? It's been ages since I've used singleton classes. Static some class instance. Singleton, how should it be used? Do So we only want the one that's fine. Yeah, I think I can't remember whether they need to be static or not, but I'll just put the variables in there and see what happens. Because in this particular one, they weren't static, they were just regular values. So I'm going to guess this should be fine. So what I'm going to do, and so your core engine parameter, this was going to be gl int width. Now I'm going to say screen width. 
screen height and also what I'm gonna do in the sonar game engine namespace so I'll probably add side within here now in the CPP file I'm because I'm just gonna put some hash defines of like the default values so we can easily modify them there I'm just gonna put them here for now so hash define SGE underscore def which is default underscore screen underscore width width and for this I'm gonna put 640 for the height feel free to suggest any better ways of where to put the hash defines or whether to use some sort of global constant or whether to use magic I mean magic variables yeah magic numbers yeah essentially magic data feel free to let me know and also in here did I uh, want to put the window title as well so window title so now let's just commit those changes and in here set the initial values I'm happy with that comment I'll leave that there and put this screen width equals SG screen width okay so we've got the initial parameters all set up and how do you create an instance of static again where's the usage of it they don't have a usage do they I believe it's just oh, I'll wing it so where am I passing this stuff I'm passing it in the core engine yeah set window size ah on hmm yeah okay so we got the values that are coming from here so instead uh, yeah in the framework interface what I want I no longer want any of this no longer want this at all we can get rid of this entirely obviously that is going to slightly mess up SG, what does the FI stand for? I honestly can't remember. Framework interface. There we go. If I get rid of that, get rid of that, and in here, for the protected, I'm going to put, I need to include actually the, what do I need to include? all settings then I need to do call settings nah, let's go on to this particular one so single turn to the dirt so call settings oh this what should I call it call settings I guess to be errors but they should not be within this file itself so if I go to glfw and in here what I'm gonna do is there's no getters and setters I need getters and setters before I can actually start using them so if I go to core settings and in the public I need to I still need to do the get instance so in the framework interface I need to do core settings equals core setting colon colon get instance and uh, what did I want to do in the core settings file I need to create some getters and setters 
So I need to do void no, gl int. Yeah, initially I'm just going to return an array of two gl int get screen width. should implement in a separate one because it's going to become unmanageable otherwise do they not like this function cannot return array type of glint2 Okay, that works. Oh, how do you return an array? Right. Da, 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 da. Remember, people are gonna slam me in the comments for this. I know C plus return. That's why we bloody need those vectors. So otherwise, but in general, it's just not the best way of doing things. We realistically need some sick ass vectors. So you would just do element in the array. So you have to use just like a normal array. Didn't I try that? Oh, I thought I tried that and it didn't work. Maybe I tried, I must have tried some other piece of code. So, GLM vector class. I just want to have a look at this. Okay. I just want to check the time because I do have something else to attend to. Don't have a lot of time today. This is going to be a shorter video. For now, I'll just use an array and I'll return get screen size and for this I need to change this to get screen size to and the core settings I need to do screen size 0 size 1 build bar that SDL error should be all good so I'm going to copy and paste this to the core settings. And what I'm going to do in here is return this screen. Yeah, I'll need to put the actual class name first. So let me do that. Core settings. build and if we go to the SDL file go to where uh, where was I trying to change things up wasn't there somewhere else that I actually tried to do something there we go I'm going to need to sort that out as well Sort out the set windows core framework. Does that still have those methods? Don't need those methods anymore, which is good, 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 good. It's gonna create a bunch of errors which I will fix one by one. So the first error is in SDL. Let's just wrap up this error. So this is moaning that 
this, so this, call, settings, get, screen size, zero, Okay, so essentially you need to do something similar here. It's not this now, it's this. Cool. Actually, there's no set window size anymore, so I can get rid of that. It's in here, so I need to replace this with. I'm going to need to get this from here slash this course settings ah that's the whole point of having a single turn I don't need to get it from there I can just get it from where from my engine file so if I go to core framework the core engine where was I Where have I already created the core setting? The four created in core framework. Must have created in SDL. Nope. Create must have created in framework interface. So if I copy that into core engine core framework, yeah, fine. And now copy and paste this. Change this to core settings the HPP core settings in the constructor will be equal to core settings get nope you don't want to do common colon of the object you want to do it of the class name get instance And now in here we can simply do core settings get screen size no I don't want to want to cancel that because I'm going to put a one there see if this runs seems to be running fine so if I go back to here knowing the core settings CPP I change this to something like 200. I'm gonna create a setter method now. Mm hmm. Result. So that is all good. All good. So yeah, if I made any mistakes with a single single turn class, feel free to comment. Feel free to help out because obviously this one has a bit more to it, but it's pretty much the same. The only thing I want to do now is also create a set a setter method. So I need to put void set screen size, and for this it's going to be glint screen width glint screen height, and now copy and paste that into here I'm going to put this screen size 0 equals screen width need to do the core setting as well core settings colon colon If anyone knows of any like really really cool radical changing themes that you can add to Xcode, feel free to let me know. I don't know if you've seen the YouTube channel Biscuit. I think it's spelled B I S Q W I T. Check it out. He has some really epic videos, but I just like the music and like how he actually does his videos. Let me just quickly show you. And he doesn't know me, and he's not paying me at all to show this channel at all. So I'd for just mention that. So Biscuit, feel free to check him out. 
let's quickly play one of his videos I'm actually going to mute my audio don't want YouTube to think that I'm trying to do something dodgy YouTube always gets their panties in a twist so yeah I won't put on the music but you'll be able to see what I mean in terms of the way he has stuff going obviously that's the sort of editor he's using but if you know of a way to yeah it'd be epic if we, if we got our videos looking like this so I'm gonna look a bit more into it. if you know of a way to do something like this you then Xcode or something else because I can just compile in Xcode real, realistically uh, as long as I can do something like this that would be awesome so yeah feel free to check out his channel he's got a really epic channel Bisquit Biscuit, and what I want to do is in the, the core engine file, I'm going to do. I'm just going to arbitrarily do core settings. Set screen size to 500 by 500, no, by 1,000. No, no, no. I'm going to put 1,000. By 500, save that, refresh, build, and it's about to run. Yep, that looks about right. Actually, I'm not too sure. I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, yeah. I assigned it to screen with it meant to be height. That didn't look good, right? It was meant to be really, really wide, not yeah that's exactly what we're going for so in here I'm just going to remove this method now but yeah, we made some good progress in here what I'm going to do I'm not going to remove the width and the height well, I am but I'm going to change it so we need to get a proper vector going because this is only a temporary solution so window size change to vector so no don't want to save it like this I want to commit the changes So yeah, I'll upload this code to do, 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 GitHub after this video. And yeah, so this has just been a quick video on creating a modern OpenGL game engine. Feel free to contribute towards the code. I'll be creating one very, very soon. Thanks for watching.